I was speaking with a source very familiar with this process just yesterday who told me that um, for a number of years, the way that North Korea did it, uh, actually the military would issue an order and then North Korean peasants, people out in the countryside, uh, would on their own time go out to these mass grave sites. And there are a number of mass grave sites dotted all over North Korea. They would dig through try to collect these bones uh i'm not sure how the peasants themselves would then be able, be able to hand over the military and say okay these are probably american these are probably not but that it would they would bring the remains to the north korean military they would get paid a small amount of money you can see some of the first boxes coming off of the aircraft now that's how the remains were collected but there's been a change now uh my source tells me and now this has become a military operation so north korea is actually deploying uh, it's, it's soldiers, and they have a standing army of more than a million people in North Korea. Uh, and the soldiers are now officially going to these sites and starting to search for these remains. What's not clear, I don't think we know exactly when these 55 cases were excavated, if this is something that North Korea has been hitting on for a while, uh, or if these are relatively recent excavations. But certainly for Korean War families, and now in many cases, it's the you know the, the the children of those who were killed, and some of the children are getting up there in age as well. You know, this could be the chance for closure 